Now we can finally reveal this breathtaking house on Bribey Island, about an hour north of Brisbane. We're meeting with Mark from Mancorp Quality Homes, who is about to give us an exclusive tour of Mia Kassa, the winner of Master Builders Queensland Home of the Year for 2017. First impressions are wow, and this is only the entry. Welcome to Mia Kassa. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty spectacular. I don't think I've ever been greeted by an entrance so welcoming. The home is quite amazing. As you go through, you'll actually see that 99% of the product is individual and handmade by local tradesmen. And what do you call this style of home? Because to me, it feels like sort of a Balinese resort. The brief that I actually gave my architect and my interior designer was I wanted the home to be resort tropical and elegant. Wow. Holy! This is amazing. <laughs> That is amazing. It is. Fantastic views, isn't it? Amazing views and so much glass to be able to take it all in, no matter where you're standing. And that was a challenge on its own. Was Just it? to open this up, yeah, it was very challenging. Unfortunately, we end up with a couple of piers that had support upstairs, but we got used to them. Yeah, I guess by putting the piers outside, you don't notice them when you're in the space. You sort of look past them to the exactly. Glasshouse Mountains. Exactly. Yeah, it's exactly. amazing. And I love that it's just water meeting water meeting water. So did you guys design this yourself or did you have help with an architect? We had the, uh, the ideas of what we needed and the concept of where we needed to go. And we used uh, Robin Payne, fantastic designer. We gave our brief to Robin. Robin turned it all around, created exactly what you're going to walk through today. And so, Robin, did he work with a interior designer to work on the finishes inside? We used a guy called Rui Rosa, and we employed Rui, who is based in, believe it or not, Perth. And he came over here and had a look and said, I want this gig. I feel like every surface has been addressed. I love that there's really subtle wallpaper on the walls and I feel like no stone's been unturned. It's spectacular. And that's uh, a great credit to a few people within the industry that I work with and my very good friend, Sammy Junta, who owns Classic Ceramics. We were looking for that resort style and Sammy was able to provide us with all the subtle hues that Rue was looking for to create the ambience that you need to actually get this feel. I think you're being a bit humble too, because you, of course, are the builder, and the workmanship throughout this place is next level. It really is next level. It's, uh, it, it gives me a lot of pride. I've been doing this uh, work for a long, long time. We're a very small company, uh, but we're very dedicated with very good tradespeople. We had a lot of apprentices working on the, on the home. We promote the industry, and to get the satisfaction of the end result, even as the owners, been a really good thing. And how long did this home take to build? This home unfortunately took a little bit longer than I wanted. <laughs> they all do. The way. <laughs> Simply because obviously I've got a lot of people I'm building for so if I can't use my own tradespeople I don't take the work on. So unfortunately my home had to last a little bit longer so it took about 16 months. Well we can relate to that because we've been in our home for eight years and it's still going because the builder's home Never done. Never finished. And I'll introduce you to something I'll just put in. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Never finished. This is a large home spread over 2,000 square metres. Three levels in the main house with a huge master bedroom wing, the very open plan kitchen, extensive scullery, luxurious living area spilling out onto an outdoor kitchen and entertaining area, a home theatre, a wine cellar, plus for self-contained villas in the guest wing. Although the actual area used is massive, each space feels intimate and homely. And then there's the water. The use of water is what really floats Mia Casa up to the next level. Sitting pretty on the corner block of the estate, the house captures the watery views from both sides, across Pumice Stone Passage all the way to the Glasshouse Mountains. Along with this natural beauty is a series of water features and ponds around the house and coming from under the house, flowing out to the passage and beyond, giving the feeling the whole house is floating on water. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. This view is amazing. So this is your master suite. 
Welcome to another aspect of the home. Yes. That's like another house up here. It's huge. <laughs> I love that there is no separation between the bedroom area and the ensuite. No, because nobody else is really up here. Yeah. This is kind of the little hideaway when uh, the guest wing is full. And how about all this glass? This glass is awesome. Well, the glass, I've, I've actually got to put uh, credit to Bradnam's. Windows and doors. We were worried about views. We were worried about wind design, wind strength. They solved all our problems. That is a really unique space, that whole bathroom area. Where's the shower? So at night, uh, as you can see, we're, we're pretty open to the elements and we need our privacy. So what we do is we have access from the walk-in robe into the shower and the WC so we can still enjoy the ambience of the night. Not me, mate. I'd be walking around here in the nick. I'd, I'd, I'd love it. No one well, yeah, wants to see I'd that. I'd go out on the balcony in the nude, just no, wave to the that, people in the that's boat. That's indecent exposure. <laughs> you can get arrested for that. <laughs> Homes like this are really brought to that next level with their lighting design because that adds a massive amount to a home at night. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because uh, it'd be remiss of me if I didn't mention CV services. There's about two kilometres of LED strip lighting throughout wow. the home. <laughs> There's about 3,000 lights, so this home transforms again once the sun goes down. I think what you've proved with this home is that devil is in the detail. It's like every little thing is being considered. It has to have its uniqueness because it's position. Uh, we could have built a normal home here. When I say normal home, I mean just a home, you know, but there had to be a point of difference. It had to complement the Pumicestone Passage, the National Park that's there, the Glasshouse Mounds, the views, the water. So it, it, it had to complement that, otherwise it was really a waste of space on a block of land that I think is absolutely picture perfect. It's like the ultimate house in the ultimate location. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for showing us through. You're more than welcome. It's been my pleasure. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Let's go get a beer in this man cave. Why don't we? <laughs> Mia Casa is relaxed, tropical living on a new scale. I feel so relaxed, I could just float away into the abyss.